Periodontal disease bacteria pattern. When you take a sample of plaque and put it under a microscope, if a patient has periodontal disease, you'll see a sea of activity. And the more virulent the infection, the faster the bacteria seem to move and the more vigorous the bacteria seems to be. Periodontal disease is made up of mobile bacteria and many types of bacteria. There's probably over five to 600 different kinds of bacteria in the mouth, and it's very difficult to discern which ones are the virulent or the important bacteria. In a healthy sample, there is no activity whatsoever. Patients that have healthy mouths and have no pathogenic bacteria have no movement or no mobile bacteria whatsoever. And we get in a treatment sequence for these patients, then we're treating to no furious movement or no motion and no mobile bacteria and then we're finished with treatment. These are spirochetes and spirochetes can be either lone rangers where they're just all independent or they can be tied together and they can be in synchronized motion and they can produce pumping actions as you see in this slide here and in some cases they produce a ciliary action that can pump fluid backwards and forward and they're usually associated with rods and other bacteria and here's a bunch of mobile rods. It's interesting to note that even though we recognize rods but uh, trying to coordinate what you see under the microscope with what you you can culture there are two worlds apart. Here are synchronized uh, spirochetes that are tied end on end and they're forming that ciliar pumping action and it's thought that they're the ones that pump fluid in and out of the plaque providing nutrients and carrying away waste products. Here's several spirochetes are associated with the central body that we're going to see later and there's more spirochetes. These are very thin spirochetes. All seem to be of the same type but according to Richard Allen there's probably 50 to 60 different kinds of spirochetes in the mouth and the difference in virulence and uh, we don't know what to make of which one is more important than other at this point in time in our research. But we do know that spirochetes are very important in the disease function. Here's a rod with many spirochetes tied to it creating that ciliary action. It almost looks like an organism to itself even though it's several bacteria that are cooperating together in this slide. Here's an amoeba. And we see these amoeba associated with very severe periodontal disease. And it takes a little patience to find these because they look a little bit like macrophages when they're not moving. But when, when they move, they afford little pods and then the, the interior part of the uh, amoeba will go into the pod and then it'll keep moving by that kind of motion. Here's some uh, medium-sized rods. Uh, these are not in furious motion, but relatively calm motion, but associated with disease. They're almost always seen with spirochetes that you can see in between. Virulent, the infection, the more spirochetes that seem to be present in these. And here's some uh, spirochetes that are lined up and working on that pumping ciliary action of moving fluid in and out. Here's eel-like bacteria that we have no idea what it is. They're little undulating rods going around and most of which we don't even have a name for. These are trichinomads. Uh, they have an undulating membrane and they look like little mice in the field. These though protozoa we don't see that often but when you do see it you usually see them in a variety of other bacteria and um, lots of spirochetes in these fields as well.